That's I circuit train between the the sauna, the steam room, and the jacuzzi. Does that count? As much as you've been announcing, man. You've been a busy man. You've put in the hours this month, obviously. That's true. With the World Series. And I'm still here. You're still here. Still doing it. And I called on you because, of no. course, when it comes to four card, <laughs> well, let alone great storytelling. How could I turn we down? We look no further. Turn down you, Ali. I can't turn it down. <laughs> We this might, bro we might see something move. we've never <laughs> seen, you know, if it's possibilities in PLO, you never know. Might just have like some crazy four way all in. I doubt it, but <laughs> you never know. That's true. Action appears to be on Tobias Peters. I recognize oh, that name. I've seen it somewhere. Uh, it is a he is a professional poker player, so I'm sure I've seen his name and some results somewhere along the way. We are staring at Martin Cabral, the chip <coughs> leader, so Peters. <coughs> not involved in the pot officially. There it is. A limp from Jack Jack 10 7 with diamonds out of Cabral in the cutoff. Now the 9866 double suited for Rebecca in the small blind. Did he get in there? Or has he just <coughs> folded it over to the Spaniard, Alfredo Meister? And I like this limp here by uh, Martin. Just, you know, <coughs> got a very playable hand. Wants to see some flops. He's got all the chips, so why not? So Rebecca did indeed come along, and Meister appeared to check back out of the big with ace ace jack three and that allows king eight six to roll off for has bottom set here cabral has flopped the jack high diamond draw and a gut shot and with that board texture bjorn verbeckel will fire three hundred and twenty thousand full pot len yeah, don't mind that. I don't mind Meister uh, just checking uh, his option with aces. You're kind of announcing your hand range, uh, you know, out of the blondes there. And it's just going to be tough to play the uh -huh. aces Maybe. out of the blondes. Maybe. Martin is chewing his gum like a guy that has the chip lead. <laughs> a little confidence, you think? Yeah. A little yeah. smug, a little... Very good. Well, not smug, I shouldn't Better say smug, but yesterday? just confident. Huh? Comfortable. Yeah. We yeah, well, he's going to call here. Huh? He's got a gut shot. Uh, I'm in pretty much same. Jack had down. Oh, wow. wow. Leicester would have made a set of aces. I'm always in a good mood. And so now same. it's a double gutter for Cabril. Queen or a nine would work as well as a diamond and for Beckel, still firing. Yeah, and this pot is escalated to quite some size now with two full pot bets. Mm -hmm. um, Cabrillo could be a little leery that um, for Beckel could have a hand like the nut flush draw with a pair in turn, a hand like ace king with ace ex of diamonds, which would have Cabrillo's hand in really bad shape. definitely something Martin's going to have to be thinking about whether he chooses to, to call here with this draw or not. <laughs> we all had to give it away. Huh? We all had to give it away. We all had to give it away. I, I, I know. I didn't know. I just tried. <laughs> Who told him? <laughs> well, you should have been not typing. <laughs> 960k is the price right without the nut flush draw uh, for Carbel to continue. I, I think I'm it's a fold here. Just like Martin a little bit. Personally. I know the rules, but I try to avoid them. There's too many hands that uh, Rebeko has. It it could have king, king <laughs> something of diamonds <laughs> with two <laughs> pair. <laughs> um, you are drawing at the nuts with a queen or in a non. But, uh, 960? Your diamonds 
aren't always good. You could catch a jack too to make trips. He is going to call. Showing a little gamble here. Uh, we'll see what happens Long on the river. Yeah, that 960 not at all insignificant in relation to the He's chip crazy. leader First stack man, at this stage. Bust? I don't understand it. <coughs> I really don't understand. Be careful, Hollandia. I know. Check it blind, Netherlands. Check it blind. And a brick on the end, the five of spades. Obviously, the seven nine is completed if it's there. Yeah, Cabral could go for it here. These were the two biggest stacks at the table clashing. Yeah, we could really put him to a big decision for his whole tournament here if he'd like to. 7-9 makes a lot of sense also. He does have a 7 in his hand. Imagine how deflating it would be to hear Cabrel utter the word pot at this point if you're sitting on a set of sixes. And Verbeckel blocks 1-9. has a lot of clubs on his hand. See if he goes for it. What a first hand. Second hand, I guess. Yeah, but the first flop. Yeah. And neither player has full pot here, but for Cabrilla, it would be a disaster if he were to get called. He would have virtually nothing left, presuming that he would be willing to go all in with this two and a half million, of course. Yeah, if he bets, he's, he has to go for all, for all of it. Gears are turning. Would it have not made any sense for Verbeekel to maybe put out a smallish blocker bet? I think checking's best. I think Cabrillo has a hand that he just goes for it or he, or he makes it. And you can just make that decision. He's not going to, uh, if Verbeekel makes a smallish bet, I think Cabrillo's less likely to, you know, raise him all in. He's just more likely to just bluff jam the river. Note that he grabbed the big chips up front, pulled them aside, counted them down, pushed them back toward his stack. All the kind of stuff that you'll see a lot of slick live players do in an effort to maybe get any little glimpse or insight into how their opponent is feeling about their holding or the prospect of being up against a big bet. Yeah, I mean, saw Chance scoring it through that in the main event coverage and got a little flock from it. And, I mean, you know, it's live poker. You kind of, I can see how people saw it as a little move to try to maybe entice his opponent to see if he was going to call. But it was, you know, I, I thought it was fair play. And he is including this. To go for, mm. what is the size there? Well, stand by. 1.6. And Cabrilla has just jacks here. This is an absolute bluff. Gotta like the hard here. I mean, it's um, pretty much the first hand of the tournament, final table, and, and putting Verbeekel mm. in, in a tough spot. I mean, 7 9 makes a lot of sense. Hands just like bear 7 9 10, no flush trial that flops, flops a wrap. He limped in. So, you know, the top range cards kind of are less likely. You know, like a uh, hand like ace king 10 jack, I, I think Cabrera would have raised with. So, it's it's unlikely he's turning like ace king into a to a bluff kind of or <clears throat> thinking he could be up against the same hand. How relevant are all these cards that Verbeckel have to his ability to maybe sniff this bluff out because a lot of them are the sort that would coordinate with a seven For that sure. might limp in. Yeah, so having two sixes, yeah. It, having a seven nine in your hand, you'd like to be connected with the seven nine. Like right. With a six eight. 
uh, et cetera. So that for sure matters. Let's see if he sniffs it out. It's, uh, As played, it doesn't feel like he's up against a bigger set. So really, the question becomes, did he make the straight or not? Yeah. And that's about it. Uh, almost never has uh, three kings, three eights. So it's uh, it's pretty much a straight or it's a bluff. Does call. What a huge moment this is here at this final table on the very first flop. Cabril gets caught and is left with sub one million in chips. Short stack of Cabril in the big blind. The Dane, Michael Plume. Professional poker player, 40 years of age, under the gun. He likes fishing, but he's going to keep his reel out of the water here with what looks what to have been a pretty today, ugly right? holding. Something like strong, yeah? yeah. Something like pepper. Huh? <laughs> but like a lot. The pepper, Dutchman. Yeah. yeah. Right, right back in there, though. Chili, chili. Chili, chili peppers. <clears throat> Makes it two and or a your, quarter. Or your train is running soon, yeah? Train back yeah, to Yeah, nice hand. Yeah. Ace king queen with a <clears throat> suited ace. Definitely worthy of a raise. That wasn't a bad hand for Peters, by the way. Ace Jack Jack well, Deuce I think with he the feels like Cabrillo's gonna maybe go with a decent amount of hands here. It's pretty short. <coughs> and uh, he's got a nice hand to, to go with at least the flop. How queen much? Queen Twenty five? Nine. Peanuts. Basically peanuts. I know. <coughs> you have anything there? Again? Not yet. Kings? No, no. I put you on the kings. Okay. But it will be showdown anyway, so it doesn't matter, yeah? I, yeah, I, I think so. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. <coughs> no problem, it will be showdown anyway, so spectators will see everything. These two are pretty chatty. Yeah, we probably have a little history. Ace, ace, seven. Oh. Trip aces, king kicker for Verbeckel and for Cabril. He does have a heart draw to go with these two queens, Len. One seventy-five. One seventy-five only. Yes. Discount. His check is drawn a bet of one hundred and seventy-five. Can be quads. You have quads? I don't have outs against quads. Okay, that's good. Good to hear. <coughs> uh, kind of a weird spot here for Martin's hand. <coughs> with this stock it's just you don't like doing anything you don't like putting it in you don't like folding all in six million eight all in <coughs> two call well Cabrell Finds himself all in here, took his chances. The two queens are cooked, of course, but he does have live hearts. Unfortunately for him, the side cards for Verbeckel, a king and a deuce, are not hearts, which means two of those hearts will be no good. <coughs> And the lone Czech player at this final people? table yes. has his fate so. hanging in the balance. The chip leader coming in. You for sure. Thirty percent from here forward. How much is it? I have no idea. I never play poker. I trust you. I'm just going to sit here, yeah. drink my beer, enjoy yeah, the show. We'll <laughs> 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 be with you next. Like, <laughs> 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 Yeah
If I bust them, I take a beer as well. <laughs> I hope you pick one. I know. I think everybody's rooting for me. 1.45 million in the middle. The aye, turn aye, is aye. a deuce, and it's ice. Aces full of deuces. Nothing Cabril can do from here forward. Put Queen of Hearts there for split bot. Ha! Finally, Save for a foul deck. No play. Martin has it's gonna be quiet no now. outs, drawing dead, right? Yeah, but you never know. It could come Queen of Hearts. Okay, oh, bye guys. An it improvement. <laughs>
I um <coughs> You're in front, that's for sure, but I like my hands, but it could be better. It's a little bit gamble, but it's it. <coughs> I don't know. I call. Oh, my goodness. Beckers does come with the call, and he is really gambling in a massive pot. 8.46 million. And he is a worse than three to two dog. <coughs> yeah, he blocks. At least I block your ass. Luck. <coughs> and we go back to the fact that Zhao Feng was uh, you so well serviced by this three bet, which allows him to escape the wrath of aces with kings. Optimistic three bet. <laughs> yeah? Optimistic three bet. I know. Yeah. yeah. But once I do it, yeah, you, you can't you can't fold anymore. Once I do it, I can fold. Hmm? Once I do it, afterwards I have to go flip it anyway. I think if I have five hundred thousand more, you would fold. Uh, <coughs> not good. Queen. That's, that's good. In the window, followed by a jack and a seven. It's rainbow. So Beckers is connected with his dangler. Good dealer, you can do it. Needs to hit two pair. <coughs> Could also hit trips. To the turn we go. Wow. It's a six. So now sevens and sixes along with the bottom end gutty for Beckers. Puts him squarely in the lead. But for Baker Lewis, picked up an open ender. Four or a nine would work for him. Yeah, and Queen or Jack to counterfeit those two pairs. Yep. This is a huge pot. <coughs> Here comes the river. No. Oh, it's uh. the Jack, and that counterfeits the sevens and the sixes. <coughs> leaving Ken Beckers <coughs> on the outside looking in. He spun it up from so few chips. The fairy tale comes to an end. Oh, beautiful. Two aces with diamonds. An obvious open. And I can think of a game where Feng's hand would be beautiful, but Potlum at Omaha is not it. Not it. Yeah, a little deuce to seven action would be. Nice here. Even I would learn how to know how to play this one, Ollie. I mean, it's not hard, right? He's going to call, see a flop, try to flop something with it. You surprised that he's willing to invest <coughs> 900000 off of a 2 million stack? Obviously, an extra 600 over at the top of the big? Yeah, I mean, he's got the, the ante in there, too, and it's just, you know, it's one of those but, hands where you just flop something sometimes and. You kind of know when to go with your hand. You end up in a weird spot like this one with a yeah. gut shot on the bad side and middle pair. No heart draw for Feng. Aces for Verbackle. You see as bad as this hand and just doesn't look great. It it plays 50% versus bone aces here. Obviously, he doesn't know his opponents just got bare aces. But a lead here is look like what's going to happen, maybe. And it's just going to, he calls it, and here we go. So Feng willing to go with it in this spot after having invested an extra 600 pre. Total of 900 was sitting on 1.3. Five and decided, let's go. Merbacle says, let's go indeed. And you'll note the percentages here. It is a coin flip. Four 
4.8 million hanging in the balance, and more importantly, Zhao Feng's fate. Here comes a turn. <clears throat> wow. It's an ace. Top set now for Verbeekel, and there's really only one path to an escape for Zhao Feng. He knows it, and so does Bjorn. Fade the four, <clears throat> win the bracelet. Four outs once for Feng. Will he live on to continue the battle? Or is it all over? That's it. The eight on the river. Not what Feng needed as he finishes in second place. And the man of the moment, Bjorn Verbackel.